I think the one thing that really makes Scotts Bluff Gearing a, a wonderful place to live, it's just the quality of life. You don't have the traffic jams, you don't have the hustle and bustle, and you don't have people that have an agenda. We like being able to know the people in our community, being able to get to know um, your neighbors and have a place where you really belong. I think in larger community, you may not be able to get as involved and if you are you don't always see that direct impact. Here I get to be involved in, in coaching for my kids in um, organizations serving on boards, volunteering, putting on events and you actually get to uh, see a difference being made from your efforts and other people's uh, efforts that are involved with yours. It still has that like new frontier you know, we have to do it for ourselves, we have to support ourselves, we have to support each other as a community is the same thing that those pioneers experienced going across the Oregon Trail. There are so many nonprofits in our in our community here and I look at them and think about and compare them to other municipalities and think about how so many struggle to even keep their doors open. But I really feel like the bulk of them in Scotts Bluff are, are not only surviving, but they're truly thriving organizations that are doing really good work in whatever service area that they're working in. And that wouldn't be possible without Scotts Bluff as a community to live in. I think people think that there's nothing to do in a small town. And that's just completely not true. We play softball in the summer, co-ed softball out at Lacey Park. Um, we like to travel, we like to do a lot of outdoors things, a lot of hiking, camping, that sort of thing. Which there's a lot of that to do around here, which is really nice too. Denver's roughly three hours away. South Dakota, Rapid City, it's also about three hours away. And so you can have uh, short vacations, fast getaway, any weekend you like, and you have a vast uh, amount of variety of choices that you can make. So the pace of life is it's not the hustle and bustle of the big city. It's a really relaxed community to live in, I feel like, but there's always things going on. It's just, are you looking and aware of them? In the scheme of things statewide, we're not one of the largest cities, but with the continued effort being put forth, I mean, I think Scotts Bluff Gearing is gonna thrive for another 100 years. I think there's a lot of positives going on in this community, and it's, uh, it's very exciting to be a part of that. I've traveled more in the last two years than I've ever traveled and I come back and I'm just so happy to be home. Like this is, this is it for me. Mm -hmm.